I am that British guy and welcome back to my playthrough of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Now in the last episode we caught up with Gustava in the women's toilets and she is now going to work with us to try and find Dr. Marv. They had a quick conversation and we found out where he was so we are now off to try and find him. So let's get started. Right. There she is by the lift, because of course there's a lift in the toilet. Presuming I can't go in any of these things here, no, whatever it is. Right. She's just gonna stand there, yeah, fair enough. Follow me in, perfect. Can't go up, let's go down and see what's there. Oh, I haven't got much health. Ah, oh, stupid frozen rations. So hopefully these will thaw out. Alright, what have we got? There's a couple of guys. Oh, it's the weird. Oh, okay. Oh, oh lovely. I do so hate those stupid holes in the floor. Nice. Bad game. Does anything come down here? Is that then chucker? No. Oh yes it does. There it is. Stupid contraptions. Right, let's remember not to do that next time. Wait for the thing to come around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can get the ammo from in here. We can go up and run it. situation. Presumably we can't go further down, no. Nope. Come on we go. Oh, stupid holes in the floor. So annoying. Aha! Oh, mad no, right. That might have not been. Oh, Gustavo, snake! Doctor, you're alright. You've lost some weight, mad no. You haven't changed a bit, Snake. Snake, we must hurry. Dr. Marv is waiting. You mean Marv is still alive? I thought I could easily escape through this passageway, but the elevator wouldn't open from the inside. Gustavo, you and the doctor get behind me. We're moving out. No way. Snake, I have something to give you. I swiped it from a guard. It's card five. Lead the way, Snake. I'll follow you. Whoa. Let's use that. Right. So we're all going to walk along the line. Hang on. Down 
this way. Oh, presumably that was what card 5 was for. Snake, wait, I can't go on. I must rest a little. Snake? Alright, we'll take a short break, because we've walked down one corridor. <laughs> Please excuse me. I have some business to take care of. Well, that's not massively suspicious at all, is it? How oh, what? Give the guy a break. He's an old man. He can't hold it like he used to. No, I mean us. A world-renowned scientist, a former Olympic athlete, and ex-special agent trudging together through a sewer. Fake can be funny sometimes. Fake? Yes. Perhaps you're right. You know, when I was a little girl, my mother used to tell me stories about Poland during World War II, about the Warsaw Uprising, my mother spent days in the sewers under the city, fleeing from the Nazis. Her skin and clothes were caked black with mud. You could not even see her face. My mother and I are much alike. We are both haunted by war. Gustavo, why'd you quit skating and join STB? You'd think an Olympic medalist would get the royal treatment even in the East. Not exactly. It was something about the ice. It felt cold. Very poetic. The ice? Snake, are you married? No, I don't have a family. You? I am all alone, and it's not because I like being single either. Perhaps I simply never had the chance. What about a boyfriend? Once, only once, I thought about getting married. It was back when I was still skating. I was deeply, madly in love. It still hurts to think about it. He was a western man. His name was Frank Hunter. He was handsome, well-mannered, intelligent, but always afraid. I would have thrown it all away for him. My family, skating, everything. Would have followed him anywhere. You would have defected? Yes, but it was not to be. The west rejected my bid for asylum at the last minute. Some sort of political reasons, I still don't understand. They probably just didn't have room for you. It happens all the time. Ever since, my family and I have lived a nightmare. We lost our right to compete. We were branded as refuge nicks. I had no choice but to go into STB. But I have no regrets. When I was on the ice, I knew only the ice. Now I know so much more. I've even killed a man. Great. <laughs> What about him? Did you ever? I never saw him again. Our burning wall was too high for either of us to climb. Hello again. Sorry to keep you waiting. Mm. Three guesses for anyone that knows anything about the series as to who Frank Hunter is. That was so baffling, Blake. Let's go, Snake. And presumably up. Let's try and go down. I don't think it could work. You never know, there might have been a special room there with a certain item. Can we go up again? No? I'm 
I get blown up? to the other side. A bridge. We can only cross one at a time. Let me go first. I haven't got long to live anyway. No one will miss me if I fall. Oh man, Mr. Old Man. Across you go. Ha ha, victory. It's alright, you can come across. I'll come next. See you on the other side. Save Snake, hurry and cross over. Okay, I will. Oh, wasn't that safe? Boom. Gusta. Gusta. Ah, Snake. I knew I couldn't do it. Couldn't find my footing off the ice. I was always skating around. I never learned to plant my two feet on the ground and walk. The ice is starting to thaw between the east and west, Gustava. It's time to start planting your feet on the ground and take control of your life and start living. Gustava, don't give up now. It's too late for me. I've seen enough people die already to know that I am beyond saving. Just my luck. Just when I met someone wonderful again. I would like to see you skate again. Thank you. Take this. It's card six. And this, it's my brooch. To use it, you... How? How do I use it? I can't hold on. Frank. Snake. Snake. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Madlock. Snake, it's me, Grey Fox. Grey Fox. The bridge is closed. I'm taking Madnar with me. Tell you what, Snake, for old time's sake, I'll do you a favor and let you live if you get your sorry cacus out of here. You hear me? Go home, now. Then get over, Snake. <laughs> Fox, you won't get rid of me that easily. Ah. Ah, oh, now I can crawl again. Ah, okie dokie. Snake, you remember the veranda in the tower building they used for parachute jump training? Why would I remember that? If you have a hang glider, you can jump from there straight over the crevice. There should be a hang glider on the east side of the first floor of the Zanzibar building. I saw it once at Thanksgiving. See ya! Thanks? Cool, so I need time to do some flying. And crawling. Picking up the mines, picking up the mines. Gas grenades. Ammo that I don't need any more of. More grenades. Lovely. Compression. And plastic explosives. Cool. Okie dokie. And I'm presuming I can get back through this door with probably card six. Star's brooch. It's impossible to seal on Santa Land. Each use is unknown. It smells like Gustavo. Aha! Uh -huh. Cool! Ah, we're back in this building. Right. Okay, well. That was quite um, <laughs> a moment, shall we say. We just met Gustavo, and she's already been blown up. So, um, yeah. Gustav has been blown up, Metal Gear and some soldiers have taken Madnar away, and we're still no closer to finding Marv, so cool. 
now apparently we've got to hand glider over the crevice because the bridge is broken so hmm, it's going to be an adventure in the next episode but until then i have been that british guy goodbye